Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting perfume video today. I'm going to be talking about 12 new fragrances that I received in my collection. Some were gifted and some I bought myself and I just want to give my thoughts after trying these a few times, some like a month or more. So I've been kind of collecting these over the past month or so. Anyways, if you're new here, welcome. I like to film all sorts of makeup, beauty, fashion content, all of the above, shopping content, content. Love talking about all new releases. And I just got back from a little vacation, so this is my first sit-down video in a bit. I just went to California to go to Disneyland and Universal, which I did post two vlogs on, so definitely check those out. If you're curious, I went to a really fun Disney Channel night where I went to total Lizzie McGuire mode and just had so much fun. So I'll have that down below, but let's go ahead and get into these new perfumes. I feel like a a lot of people are curious about this one so let's go ahead and start with the new Kylie perfume. This one was gifted to me which was very unexpected. I seem to be getting on more like radars of different brands for PR because I've been reached out to quite a bit lately I feel like when I usually buy all my stuff myself but this was really exciting to try. So this is available at Ulta Beauty. I've been trying this the past week and I have to say I think it smells really good and now when it comes to perfumes my taste is usually very gourmet Mont heavy. I really like sweet scents, sometimes a little bit fruity. I do like a good like clean or skin scent here and there, but typically I go for gourmands. Like my one of my favorite notes ever is vanilla. And this one, I feel like it's a little different for me, but I think it's very beautiful. The notes on this one include star jasmine, blood orange, middle notes of red peony, amber, base notes of vanilla, musk, and cedar, which you do smell a little bit of all those things in here to create this really yummy, musky, fruity and light floral fragrance. I do not like anything overly floral, so this just hits it just right for me. I think it's so pretty for spring and has enough fruity sweetness in it that is to my liking. It does kind of smell like a typical celebrity fragrance. I feel like a lot of celebrity fragrances have just a standard fruity kind of floral or fruity gourmand vibe going on. I don't think this one is quite as like super light, young fruity. I think it has a sophistication to it and I actually find it to be quite nice. Now this one I think is, honestly, it's pretty strong when you first spray it. It's definitely one that you'll smell on you for a few hours, but then after that it does start to fade a little bit. So I think longevity wise, this would be in like the medium category. I think it lasts a little bit longer on clothes, which is typical, but it's not the strongest perfume of all time. And looking up what people think that this smells like, I find this so funny that so many people think it smells like Bath & Body Works Pure Wonder. Which I kind of can see that, but this I think is a lot fruitier than Pure Wonder is and a little sweeter. So I kind of prefer this, but I think it's interesting that people on Fragrantica voted him, voted these as similar, as well as Victoria's Secret Teas, which I do get that a little bit as well. That's kind of another kind of fruity musk type of scent. But overall, I'm enjoying this. I know it's been very hit or miss, maybe one that you'll want to smell first. I believe you can smell this now in Ulta Beauty stores, but personally, I really like it. It's a win for me, and I've been wearing it a lot, and I'm really excited about it. So I do enjoy the Cosmic by Kylie even more than I thought I initially would. Okay, next, let's talk this new replica fragrance. This is from The Garden. They did send this one over my way. Now... <laughs> I did smell this in Sephora when it first launched, like back in January, and I really did not love it at first. It kind of gives off a soil, dirt type of smell. It literally smells like a garden, and it also has like a tomato leaf note in here. Now, I have been liking this a little bit better. Is it a love for me? No, but I think it's enough of a fresh floral that it's not overpowering it's nice and light but this is definitely not for everyone like you really have to enjoy that tomato leaf note that's very prominent in here and a lighter floral perfume but it really does smell like a legitimate garden <laughs> like the a lot of their scents are very legitimate where they try to replicate a memory the description is literally earth and tomato leaves 
This is not one I would wear a lot because honestly, it's a bit much for me. They did send me a candle of this as well and I've been enjoying the candle a lot. The one thing I like about the replica candles is they're small, but they have a punch to them. Like I can smell them when I'm next to the table with the candle they even burning. They're very strong. So this is definitely more of a candle scent that I would like rather than something I would wear a lot personally. It's just a little too much, a little too much for my taste, so. I'm not a huge fan, but I could see where there is a lot of people that would enjoy that one. From the Garden has top notes of tomato leaf, green mandarin, middle notes of geranium, and base notes of patchouli. Okay, now this one has been my love for the past month. This is Mancera's Amour Cafe. Holy crap, you guys. I got a sample of this because I heard it was coming out and I fell in love. I immediately bought the, I guess this would be, this is technically a full size. This is the one ounce, I think, a 1.7 maybe. I believe it comes in a 3.4 ounce as well, but for my vanilla girlies, this is so good. It's one of my favorite vanillas. This one has this really deep, like, richness to it. It has this cafe coffee feel when you first spray it and the dry down is like super yummy, sticky vanilla. Like, oh my gosh. It is so good. I describe it as sitting in a coffee shop smelling a vanilla bean ice cream cone. It is delicious and super long wearing too. When I even put my sample on, I had this on all day and I kept smelling my wrists like, wow, this smells so good. And Mancera usually has really strong perfume. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but I mean, they really do last on the skin and this has really become one of my favorite vanillas ever. It is so beautiful. It's a little bit more rich, I think, for the spring and summer season. I wear mine all year round, so I really don't care about that. But if you're really more of a seasonal perfume, wear this might be one for more fall and winter time but it is so yummy so gourmand and like edible i'm obsessed the top notes are coffee amaretto middle notes of ice cream and vanilla base notes of brown sugar vanilla and ambergris and i do have a code that you can use to save a little money on this if you buy this off of twisted lily my code is just leah j10 which is usually where i like to buy some of my more niche perfumes Okay, another one that I got from Twisted Lily. This one was gifted, actually. This is the Montel Paris Lucky Candy. When I heard this was coming out, I was actually pretty excited for it. It actually came out the same time as the Mancera, but I prefer the Mancera. Lucky Candy kind of just threw me through a loop because this really does not smell like candy at all. This is very floral to me. Is it nice? Sure, but this is nothing special, in my opinion. It's just almost like a beachy floral to me just nothing what i expected from this beautiful pink bottle and the name i was left very disappointed in this one so let me read the notes to you so maybe this has some stuff that you would like so this has top notes of bergamot honey and cacao middle notes of frangipani marshmallow neroli coconut lily of the valley i think that neroli note is what's making this smell kind of beachy to me and then base notes of musk vanilla toffee and amber i really do not get the gourmanded notes in here to me it just stays very floral, beachy-like, and just not at all what I was expecting from this fragrance. Next, we have here the newest launch from Skylar. I enjoy Skylar scents a lot. They're not the most beast mode fragrances, and that's okay to me. Not everything has to be super strong. I like a lot of their scents. They have a lot of just like really easygoing, just like everyday throw in and go kind of scents that aren't offensive really to anyone. And this is their new Sunkissed Dahlia. This is so pretty and very unexpected because um, Sunkissed Dahlia, obviously that smells kind of summery, it sounds very floral, but this is actually really fruity and yummy. I've been really liking this one. It actually has a very strong apple note, like a fresh apple. It's so good. Not like apple pie, but just a fresh apple and this like honeyed sweetness. I really, really do like this. Of course, I do wish it was stronger, but Skylar scents have never really been that way. Um, something nice about them is they are all clean fragrances and they use good ingredients in their formulas, but... I think it's so pretty, it's so fruity, fresh, delicious. The notes on this one read top notes of apple, mommy or mammy, I'm not really sure what that is. It looks like it's a fruit. Red currant, middle notes of dahlia, jasmine, and rose. It does have a base note of custard, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood, but really the apple is the prominent note that you get in this one and the dry down is like 
a hint sweeter with the custard plus you get tiny tiny bit of like the dahlia in there but it's not really something i pick out when i smell this one all right next one we have another kind of summery vacation like scent this just launched from rosie jane they did send this my way and i was so excited to try a new fragrance from them because i love their dolce scent it's like one of the best vanillas it smells like vanilla bean but this is their new scent missy and this is like a super yummy fruity tropical perfume which i think i like even better than like the typical tropical sunscreen type of scent i just feel like so many beachy tropical scents just go very harsh sunscreen and this one i think has maybe a hint of that but like also you get juicy pineapple and you get a delicious creamy coconut in here and it's just pretty this is one of like my favorite tropical scents that i have smelled i definitely recommend trying it if you're not really into the whole perfumes that smell like sunscreen i think you should try this one out because i think it is gorgeous is it super super strong no it's a little more close to the skin i would say longevity wise i get an average maybe four to six hours off of this one but again Longevity doesn't typically bother me. I don't need all my fragrances to be super beast mode, but I just don't want it to disappear in a couple of minutes. But I think this one has a pretty typical longevity and it's just really yummy. I love that I get the hints of pineapple in this because I feel like that's kind of hard to find in certain perfumes and it just ends up being really juicy, sweet, and definitely a good kind of spring vacation or summer option and I think it's really beautiful. I have so many like tropical scents, you guys. Okay, next one. This is the new Vacation. They came out with a After Sun perfume based on, I think it should have the same scent as their After Sun lotion. I have not tried the lotion, but I really do like this perfume. Now, if you guys have tried their Vacation perfume, that one, again, is more of a sunscreen scent, but it's a little more unique where it has a pool floating note. It literally smells like everything at the pool at, during summertime, a banana note in it. It's really good, but I honestly kind of like the After Sun a little bit more, and this is like a really nice, clean perfume. This one smells to me like right off the bat, it gave me almost a cucumber melon vibe. I also get like a hint of mojito in here, like a tropical drink, but overall this leans very fresh and clean and a little linen-like, like a laundry type of scent. I think it is so pretty and I really do like those kind of clean perfumes. So this one was pleasantly surprising to me this one has top notes of aloe vera essence green tea melon and then heart notes of cardamom aqua de colonia ozone tonic mini bar gin so that must be that like mojito smell i'm getting base notes of resort towel plush which kind of brings in that laundry and then open weave linen so this is just definitely such a pretty clean fresh nice spring break type of perfume. I'm really liking it so far. All right, let's do this one next because I feel like this one has been getting some hype. It sold out a couple times on Sephora but then restocked. I never understand the whole sold out but then you have more right away. <laughs> Anyways, this one is Five Cents which I've never tried this brand before. I went ahead and bought it. This is called In Too Deep and this is supposed to be a more gourmand type of scent for this brand. Now, now, I don't think I was quite as blown away as I was expecting by a perfume that has sold out and gone viral a couple times. Honestly, it's pretty. It's very sugar-like to me. It has some type of floral note in here, but it honestly reminds me of the new Sol de Janeiro scent. Uh, the one in the purple bottle, which I can't remember the name of currently, but it does remind me of the Sol de Janeiro and I don't think that this brand has super strong scents by any means either. I know they are available on Sephora but I'm almost like you should probably just buy the Sol de Janeiro. I mean that one's a little cheaper. I think this is a hint sweeter though than the Sol de Janeiro. I think in some of their promo pictures they were showing like cake and all this stuff so it looked like it was going to be super gourmand but yeah I'm getting mostly like a really sugary creamy kind of skin type of scent. The key notes on this one include Tahitian vanilla, Italian bergamot, sparkling sugar, Australian sandalwood, and also musk. So I'm mainly getting that musk and like the sugar in this one. It's very pretty, but just, I don't know, it's not top 
like top tier like I was expecting. Okay, this one, this is not really new, but it's new to me. I've been wanting to get my hands on this. I've been buying a lot less niche perfumes because I just couldn't keep up with them. They were launching so many, and yes, niche brands do make a lot of really good gourmands, but I've been just sticking more designer brands that are easier to get hold of and smell before I buy because I was wasting so much money blind buying things. And, but yes, you can get like samples and stuff, but I'm just like, these perfumes are so expensive. Some of these niche brands spend, charge like $200, $300 a fragrance. I mean, you can find some really good gems like this one, for instance. This is the Lorenzo Pazaglia Sugar Kisses. They did send me this little bottle. I don't think they sell this one in the U.S. at least, but this is like a tiny 28 milliliter size, but this really is such a yummy perfume and it's super strong too just wow what i get with this one is actually a lot of cocoa butter like it's so buttery rich very sweet vanilla it smells like some type of batter like you're baking something it is so good and just insanely strong you only need like one little spray so this one i would say for a niche brand is definitely worth it in my opinion for the higher price tag because of how strong and this does smell so good so I have been enjoying this one I do think it is worth the hype this has top notes of cocoa butter milk heliotrope frangipani orange peel there's so many notes in this which is shocking to me because a lot of these I don't really smell in the fragrance the middle notes of vanilla chocolate coconut hazelnut dates tonka cocoa blossom and base notes of caramel toffee vanilla bean brown sugar white musk benzoin and rum so yeah a lot going on with this one but oh my gosh it's so sweet I do kind of get the caramel vibes mostly the cocoa butter and I would say a hint of the musk as well mixed in there it's really really good I don't really smell much floral or citrus in here whatsoever all right let's talk about this one next I ordered this off of Sephora because I heard some hype around it and it has vanilla in the name so I wanted to try it I'm glad I only got this little one though this is the seven virtues amber vanilla perfume I really like their vanilla woods one so I was hoping that I would like this one too but I think it's decent I think the only thing that I'm just kind of like not really that impressed by is because it smells so much like Glossier U and I'm just kind of over that scent profile right now I don't know I just prefer something a little different I think it's just becoming overdone and I don't really feel like this smells like a vanilla to me like sure yeah there's some amber in here but it's very musky and powdery and not not very sweet at all it just it's if you've smelled glossier you know it kind of changes on everyone's skin but it used to be a scent that I like but now I'm just over it and I was expecting maybe a hint of something more sweeter out of this one something a little different but if you guys do like glossier you this is very very similar I figured I would go ahead and try it out let you guys know I know Sephora VIB sales coming up so now you can kind of get my thoughts on some of these new releases if you want to pick up for the 20% to 10% off. This one has top notes of pink pepper, middle notes of carnation and lily of the valley, base notes of ambroxan, ISO E super, musk and vanilla. Okay, next, this one. Oh my gosh, I did not realize this one was gonna be so hard to get. This is Fleur's Strawberry Letter. I feel like Fleur is always making some really fun, unique scents, but they don't really do anything too sweet or too gourmand. I was really curious in trying this out and seeing what I think, but I guess this did not release on Sephora, which is so odd, because I feel like this is one of their top hits, personally. Um, maybe they will release it later. I know it sold out on their website, but yeah, apparently it's on their website only, but this actually smells so good, you guys. I've been really enjoying this one. This is a pure strawberry, but it's not overly sweet. Like, if you're thinking strawberry pound cake from Bath & Body Works, that is like ultra gourmand. This is not that level. This is just more like a fresh strawberry but it has some sweetness to it where it almost reminds me a little bit of Burberry Her. That one, I think it has raspberries in it, but it reminds me of strawberries all the time. It reminds me of that, but not as sweet. And you guys know, I do like my sweet scents, so sweet scents don't bother me, but I think this is a great option for those who want something with like a little sweetness, but not overdone or not sickeningly sweet, and I still really love this. So 
I've been wearing this one a lot. I think it's gorgeous. This one has top notes of strawberry, plum, and cassis, middle notes of red poppy, apple blossom, and lily, and base notes of sugar, amber, tonka bean. It has earthy notes in it. It is really one to check out if you can get your hands on it. I think it's stunning. And the last perfume I have to talk about is the new Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. They did come out with another version, and this is the Tiger Lily version. Now, I did blind buy this one because I saw it had like mango note, and I was very intrigued, but... I kind of regret blind buying it, although I did find a really good coupon for this on their website, which if I can find it, I will uh, put it down below for you. I think it was a 10% off coupon, which actually took quite a bit off since this was really expensive, but this was just not what I was expecting from a Flower Bomb perfume. This really does not have any Flower Bomb DNA in it. This is very vacation-like, so I can see why they came out with this at this time, because again, all these, like, tropical vacation type of perfumes are coming out right now but I don't know I'm just kind of like I feel like I've smelled this before it just smells like a pretty generic tropical perfume I just feel like so many of those kind of sunscreen like scents just smell so similar I think this kind of reminds me too of the uh, what's it called? The Paco Rabone fame that had that little robot guy on it I don't know I'm just I don't know if I love this. I know if you guys do like more summery vacation resort smelling type of perfumes that smell like sunscreen or like a beach vacation, you might like this one, but I was just expecting this to still have some type of flower bomb DNA in there with like a fruity twist, and this is just not not really my vibe. I much prefer like the Missy by Rosie Jane or the After Sun from vacation for more of a tropical scent. This just did not, did not really do it for me. This one has top notes of coconut milk and bergamot, middle notes of tiger lily, jasmine, and freesia, and base notes of mango and benzoin, but it's definitely not as fruity as I would like it to be, and I think the floral notes kind of overpower on this one for me. So that is all of the perfumes that I have tried lately, some of the newest launches in fragrance. I feel like, oh my gosh, fragrance has just been crazy lately, and there's been new perfumes left and right, and I'm here to tell you my thoughts on what I think is good and what I think you can pass on. If you guys do have the same preferences of me, of course, but just remember to be kind. We all have different tastes. We all smell things a little bit differently, so I may love something and you may hate it and vice versa and that doesn't mean anyone is wrong It just means we have different tastes and that is okay So I'm gonna let you guys go Of course, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried any of these any you want me to try or what you want to see a review on I know we have some very exciting releases coming I saw some little sneak peeks from Kayali with some little mini They look like tropical scents and I saw a banana perfume coming and I am like I need this ASAP and of course Bath and Body Works is doing a Bridgerton collection very soon so I I just can't wait there's so many exciting things in fragrance I've been just like really into fragrance even more than makeup as of lately I'm gonna let you guys go thanks so much for watching if you saw me move spaces about a hundred times it's because I keep running out of memory on my card and have to delete some clips but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>